Welcome everybody here to the Tuesday live stream. Getting ourselves ready to rock and roll here. Did I say Tuesday? Oh my god, I'm losing my mind here. Welcome everybody to the Monday live stream. There we go, that sounds a little bit better here. Get ready to tune in here nice and live here. Getting our background music ready. We're going to be doing a little bit of American Truck Simulator. So we're just going to hop in here, get myself situated here. We should be good to go here. Just make sure the audio level matches up nicely. That seems good right there. Hopefully we'll minimize that. And we should be ready to hop over here in game here. So let's swap this over here. I did try to get a webcam working here. It's probably reason it doesn't want to work here. I got to do a test stream one day with the webcam. But we'll get into that in a later day here. We're going to be taking the Peterbilt 389 here. Gonna be taking Black Pearl out, so we're gonna hop inside here. We're gonna need to get some fuel real quick before we do anything here. So we got our truck going. Oh, I forgot. Reengage. There you go. Track IR. Looks like we're low on air. Is that? Yeah, we're low on air. I think. No parking brakes engaged. Okay. We're just gonna shift our way over here a little bit. I got myself a new pair of headphones here for streaming, and it actually has been working out fairly well for me. I've actually been enjoying them. I tested them out for filming the other day. Um, I used them for the first time on the live stream yesterday with me, Moby, and Seamworks. And it's nice because I can actually control the volume what I hear, so I'm easier able to run everything nice and smoothly here. I will fill the truck up here let's see if we want to we'll get a full tank because we'll probably blow through the entire tank and then we'll go through and we'll see what kind of run we want to do almost there um i do have um i do got rid of the snow mod and i have the sound mod and i have the realistic sound or the realistic visual mod i'm gonna actually hop outside the truck i can show you Everything looks a lot more realistic, which was something I actually enjoyed tremendously. But I couldn't have it in with the snow mod if it just wasn't working with it. Uh, so we'll hop inside here. We should have the uh, FOV mod working. I'm not too sure if it is or not. But that should hopefully work wonderfully. We're going to hop in here. We'll pick up our first load here. I'm actually going to do the freight market instead. Leave a little more chance. And there's absolutely nothing available in Los Angeles. So let's see if we have uh, we have a double trailer up there we can take. No, oh my God, there's like nothing going around here. I think it's probably because this is the first time I fired the, uh, this profile up in a while. So I think what we'll do is we'll hop, we'll go to the inside of the. Shop here. We'll rest up for the night. Because I would like to get a nice, interesting load. So let's see if we can swing this in here. I'm hoping we can. We oh, it might be fairly tight. Oh, that was just grazed it in there. So we'll bring it in here. And it should tell us to sleep. There we go. Shut down the engine. We'll sleep and rest up. And hopefully something will appear. Uh, that's what I like to see making money. And let's see what's available for the freight market now. If not, well, we'll just pick some. Okay, here we go. Um. We did this with the multiplayer when we I never got a chance to actually fully deliver it because of the situation. It actually might be pretty fun to take with this run. And I've never went up to Wemicka. So I think maybe we'll do this one. It's not anything too major. And I actually believe it's a oversized load as well. So actually we'll take that.
Meyer situation there with the uh, stream deck that I have here. I'm trying to get used to that. We should be good to go. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this game. I'm struggling trying to get this thing out of the lot here. There we go. Everything seems to be going good here. If you can't catch all the stream, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. The following day, I will upload all the streams. Stop light here. Um, we have a few uh, nice things coming out for the channel within the next uh, several weeks. I got a couple things planned out, and I also have a um, 2018 setup tour video that should be coming out on the channel uh, within the next few weeks. I believe it's F4. Nope. F3 then. Water, hope I don't hit the microphone. Let me know how you guys are all doing. Fill out that chat box right there. rocking here. Let me know how you guys are doing over there in the chat box. Exactly like that one part right down by Vespucci Beach in LR GTA. God, wow, that was something interesting. I never saw that there. I am hoping to at some point drive out or to travel out too. California within the next a uh, couple months hopefully I don't know I have to get over a lane no one's there so we should be able just to slide back in nicely like that Everything seems to be going nice and smoothly as usual here. Be sure to hit that follow button if you do enjoy the videos. I stream different types of videos every single day. Um, right now, Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the streams are made available the following.
day on YouTube for Master Race 9886, so check that out right there. Man, I didn't expect people to drive so slow here. here it looks like so I should be good here I will have a, or will have a product review on the new headset I have a unboxing video going up tomorrow morning I will have a product review for that coming out within the next I say within the next week I'll probably use them over the next week and then sit there and do a review on them so I will have that out there relatively soon and apparently bump my microphone again. Alright, I thought we were picking this load up from Los Angeles. Where are we? I don't know how far out. So we got a left up here. Nope, we're continuing straight. Okay. Wouldn't it have just been easier to take the highway north? Like, literally, we could have took that highway north and come up right up here. Ooh, that's nice CHP. Looks like a 13 Explorer. I didn't have enough time to look at it. And we seem to be doing fairly decent on our bitrate upload, which is nice because I'm going to be trying to do LSPDFR possibly in the next few days, um, as well as a SADOJ video at some point. And this is the same place where we picked it up before last time. And that's our load right there. Nice, we'll pause our track IR. Hop in here. We're going to be taking up a mobile barrier. 500 pounds. That's the ironic part. It's very light. So it's not going to eat up us. We don't eat up on fuel because it'll be so windy. Oh, uh, we got about, oh, about 24 hours. We have till tomorrow afternoon to get it delivered. And it should be a nice payday. Release the brake. And we might actually have to, believe it or not, back it out. Or pull out into the out of the parking lot here real quick and then get it back in because I want to hit it just right. So I don't have anything to deal with. And that will probably be our best bet overall there you go that's nice right there straight out here we're going to drop ourselves into our parking lights and it looks like it should be relatively straight back hopefully I want to hit this first try Good right. Oh. Oh, we're definitely off on that. How off? I have absolutely no clue, but I think we're definitely off on this. Clutch in. Do a little gas, see if we can hit it first try. Oh, it's hard to say. I think we have it right here. Nope, we don't have it.
I don't know about you, I just can't see out of that right near. I can't tell where anything's at. That should do it right there. We're lined up with the trailer on that side. And same on this side, it looks like. So we should hit it here. Give it a little gas. Oh, damn it. Oh, now we're too far to go. should hit it this time even though we have damage now yeah there you are and we will step outside secure the load oh, unfortunately I hit that but everything still seems nice here oh look at that look at all those lights popping up lighting everything up Let's do a hookup to the trailer. And unfortunately, I'm still working on trying to figure out how to get those. Oh. Uh, oh, God, I can't remember. Oh, uh, beacon lights. To work. So it was O. Not home. No idea. It's probably just not working. I will have to take a look at that at some point, but we should be good here. Um, release the brake, put it into low, low. Throw down the trailer brake here, give a nice little tug. You can probably rip it down since it's only 500 pounds, so it's not like it's going to hold us back. But we are hooked up. And we are ready to go. Make our way out of the lot here. Got a, quite a drive going here. Now it's that it's oversized. I forget if it is. It definitely seems like it's a little bit longer than a 53 foot. But definitely because it has an awkward angle there, so... We'll have to be a little bit mindful of that when we do corners. Especially when we go to deliver the trailer. Should be a good right there. Nice and steady, nice and smooth. This is the only part I'm a little worried about. It's just a little bit of a tight corner here. Good thing nobody's meeting us here. That would have been bad. And we're ready to make a left hand turn. Clear that. Nice and smooth, ready to get ourselves going here. Should hopefully be a relatively quick trip. Let's see, we have. We had a full tank of gas, I can't get myself down low enough and the wheel's blocking it. Yeah, it's one of those bend downs. Not big, I I'm, remember in Euro Truck Simulator. Two, I had a hundred ton mod, and I can remember sitting there trying to pull it up on the roundabout exits, and it was just one of the worst things trying to do. It was just 
so difficult getting speed. Same as with the quarry taking those loads out of there. And we do get off of this exit, of course. Some tells me this is going to be a big day of just driving through cities. is that we're playing in the background. It's the top 30 uh, non-copyright sound NCS. Um, it's available on YouTube. Just type top 30 non-copyright sound. It's like a two-hour song. Have that playing in the background. Make it a little easier. And it helps time fly. Probably help me if I'm in my own lane. Bunny Hills here. Okay, so is ever gently here. Let me know down in the comments or in the chat what you'd like to see for a future stream. I'm open to all different types of ideas. I am looking at several different types of games for the future here. Go. Nice and smooth. I believe we're only allowed to drive 10 hours, so we'll probably have to rest up someplace. Of course, we want to try following all the laws as much as possible. That seems good there. Everything seems to be nice and smoothly. Stuff nice and neatly here. One of the things I'll drive me, she'll pay attention to the speedometer. I noticed that, that even in real life for me, I usually don't watch the speedometer that much. My ways I'll probably look at it a little more often, but usually if I'm in the city or something, I'm not. I'm going the flow of traffic, I'm not really going to go. You know, I can sit there and tell when going, you know, 40 or 25, and you can just tell how fast you're driving. And now we're getting onto a highway. So that should be good right there.
really shouldn't be too bad. Maybe when we have a straightaway, I'll give you guys a nice little treat. You can definitely tell that this is a light load because I, it literally feels like I have nothing behind me. Like usually I can tell if I have a trailer behind me, but this one I just, yeah, I can just tell I don't have a trailer. slows down that much on the entrance of a highway like that. Like, that's ridiculous. Let's see if we can get some speed and get past these people. There we go. And we should be nearing this... Uh, I, there's one thing I hate. I don't know what direction I'm traveling. Kind of hard to tell what road we at. I would assume we're right on the verge of hitting. I would assume we're going like northwest, or no, not northwest, northeast towards the border. I assume that'd be the direction we were traveling. And I'm not paying attention to the game. Ooh. Seems like yesterday we had snow on the ground here. Scared me there. And I tell you, we are definitely taking all the side roads today. I couldn't tell you how many. This is probably the third time we've had that. Man, it looks like we might be running into a little rain up here. So that should be good because I haven't had rain in a while here. Fire jets flying by. Let's get ourselves moving here. As I said, it's hard to tell where we 
are at. We have 400 miles left, so that's not too terribly bad. Who knows, we might be able to deliver this today. Get there early. I assume we're right on the border. Somewhere. Come on, people. Tell you, people just don't know how to drive anymore. And clearly, it's 55, not 45. I'm not even going to 50 and I'm catching up to these people. You know, I was watching a TV show. Um, it's actually one of the new ones I started watching on Netflix once I finished, because I finished another series. So I was starting up a new show. And it's something that actually inspired me to wish they made a game about. I remember back, it used to be the, one of the first trucking simulators I got. It was the, um, it was three pack. It was American Truck, or yeah, um, 18 was a steel American Long Haul. It was, um, it was a city bus driver simulator. And then there was a garbage truck simulator. And one thing that I actually thought of during that show was they should make a tow truck simulator. Now I'm not sure if that game already exists. But it's something, I don't know, is it's... Once, give me a second, I got a little bit of a... Uh, for Bunkle, I don't know if my headset's... Oh, well, maybe, I don't know. Kind of went away there, but they came back. It was like weird. It was like staticky. I don't know if it was staticky on the stream or not. But we'll just keep pushing here. People just don't know how to drive. But I shouldn't have. And the sad thing is, these people actually have heavy loads. And I'm trying to push this up here with 500 pounds on the back of me. Blocking the signal on my computer here. I mean, I'm not using that, so I can shift this out of the way a little. Let's see, maybe that'll help. And of course, this is a very busy hill. to check back with the stream about the 35 minute mark I'll have to check back there and see if that was a if it was a uh, system problem or it was just a headset We have to be in Nevada by now. Nope. Right here. And yep. I told you we we're gonna be on every single 
off country road there is. So we still gotta run it this way up. Still have to run that up north. Let's see, we're going up north here. I would have. Me personally, even though it might seem like it would be more miles, it probably would have been quicker just to take the highways. Maybe not, because as soon as we were over here, I mean, we'd still have to take 55 all the way up and over before we even get over to Nevada. Eh. You never know. Can't control everything. Uh, let's hop back out into here and situate ourselves for the run. And I did lock that up, so let's recalibrate ourselves. Yeah, that seems good like that. There we go. Don't need her. So we are almost in the state of Nevada, which is nice. We'll bring ourselves down here. Keep her running nice and steady here. Man. Come on, boys. Not that hard. Yeah, I got clearance. Man. Some shot engaged. Come on. Slingshot maneuver to get past the truck. And we'll probably do that same exact thing right here. Get ourselves in position, ready. Oh, you are something. You're blocking my maneuver. Come on, there we go. Man, I was really looking forward to that, doing a nice slingshot maneuver. Yep, we have all highway ro or side roads to get up to. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the road for just even just a few seconds. There we go. Take all your eyes off the road, and all of a sudden you are flying off the side of the road where you are slamming into someone. Luckily, I was able to catch you in time, and I have a sl or a light enough. Piece of cargo that I can stop quicker. Oh well, that's weird. You can never run it. You can run clutch in, throttle at the same time. Like I have my clutch partially engaged there, but I can throw a little throttle on there and accelerate still. Come on, give me a passing lane here. I'm ready for my slingshot. Come on. Come on, slingshot it. Come on. Grant, I, I get it. You're, you're driving flammable fuel, but you don't have to sit there. Drive so slowly, like, come on. And this is where we lose half our time because we have to sit there and putt, putt, putt. We can probably learn a new language by the time we get there because of these people. ourselves delivered on time without any problems. Can you guys hear the uh, 
music playing in the background, so I can't. It's like struggling for me to hear it. Oh my god, my. Oh! I knew I had a turn there, but I did not expect to see that right there. Okay. Uh, not a problem. We can just make a right turn over here. We'll just turn around right in this parking lot right here. I did not expect that. I don't even... I didn't take my eyes I guess I did take my eyes off it for a moment. Take route six. Take a left hand turn here. I'm gonna fix that because I don't think the music's that loud. I can just increase the audio of it real quick. Nothing too major. concrete right here. Yep. Oh, I can feel that. So let me pause that real quick. We're going to shift ourselves over here just to that real quick. And we should be. Okay, well, that's my bad. I thought that may have been loud enough. That seems pretty good there. All right, we're back in here. Nice and quick, Eddie, or a quick change and fix. And we should be good to go. We'll get ourselves out back onto the road. Nice thing about having a nice light load is I can skip gears. One of the biggest things I love about either bobtailing or light load, you can skip gears. And luckily, I don't think anybody's in front of us, so we should be able to. Maybe to hammer down just a little bit. I think this is our. This it? Yep, this is it, ladies and gentlemen, right here. State of Nevada. We are now in the state of Nevada, thankfully. It's about time. And nothing like taking 70 mile per hour on a uh, side road here because of speed limit. Keep that in mind a little bit there. There we go. Nice and smooth. Was not paying attention, did not expect that. Come on, there we go. There we go, that seems nice and neat there. I 
think we might. Yeah, we're probably going to have to stop off. Now, maybe we'll drive to and we'll deliver it. That seems good there. Keep bringing ourselves up and over here. Appealed. Don't want to have another mishap. A mile per hour zone here. Oh, seems a little weird, don't you think? And don't tell me AI is shitting a Fucking wreck. AI is definitely shitting a brick. Let's see if we can. If I can cut it wide enough, we might be able to pull this right after this Camaro. See to hit it just right, and we'll let AI deal with that. We do not have time. A little bit. Oh, this seems legit. We have to off-road it a little bit, hopefully we get past that. Let's see. Yeah. So we got past that without a problem. We got past that sign without a problem. Oh, I did not see that sign there. There we go. Seems legit. Get us some ship in here, there we go. Now that we got past that little scenario, we shouldn't have any more problems, hopefully. I don't know there's somebody up there. We gotta watch our speed a little bit. They really just gotta change the speed limits in this area. What's going on, Ed Morgan? How you guys all doing here? Keep ourselves pushing. Delivering this load. I don't know, I think every time I had this load, I had some kind of problems. I did it the one time online with Seamorg. And he sat there and where and. Oh, we hadn't hit that. I did not. I can't believe we end up hitting that guy back there. Pause it up, see if he's okay. It looks like he's pretty good back there. Yep. Oh, we are taking... What are we taking? I forget. We are taking Mobile Barrier. Nice light 500 pound. Pretty big pain. Side here. Got a little over 250 miles left. And apparently, I can't launch myself from the fifth gear.
I did not, because I'm going to have to rewatch and see what I did wrong here, but... I didn't think, I know, I, I mean, I know I was going a little bit on the fast side there, but... I don't remember taking that that wide. With that cello, I mean, I mean... across like that. No, I don't think that would have done that badly. So, I mean, it just did my normal turn, I'm not having any problems. We'll just claim it was their fault. Can you get your drink here? Keep ourselves rocking. Let me know how the game audio is mixing with the music in the background there. Maybe I can go after the city for that. I mean, it was their fault. I mean, they made it a post at 70 mile per hour zone, and obviously it's not supposed to be a 70 mile per hour zone. I'll take a look at it sometime. I mean, I guess I can see it. That should do it there, hopefully. And of course, I can always just shift that a little bit. Make that, yeah, that, that, yeah, it looks a lot better. Oh. Well, everything's going nice and smoothly here. Got. Probably about 150 miles left. Should be able to drop it off nice and neatly. Of course, it's been a pain driving behind all these trucks. Trying to downshift it. Nope. There we go. Of course, people want to drive 30 in a 70 mile per hour zone. What bill do we pay? Uh, probably our mortgage, it looks like. Oh my god, this is... I'll, I'm probably going to take a second gear here now. I, sh I should not be going 10 miles per hour in a 30 mile or 70 mile per hour zone. That's absolutely ridiculous. Slingshot engage. Ah. Oh. What the I picked the wrong gear, apparently. Alright, let's see. Slingshot engage. Really, probably a very bad area to overtake, but I am just not going to deal with that. And we got plenty of room, so we're good. This is going to be a big pain in my ass. There we go. Come on, there we go.
Okay, I think I figured it out. I think external contracts, it doesn't let you go past 65 miles per hour anymore. No matter where in any on the entire map you're at. Yeah, so we're gonna be making a left hand turn up here. Should be good. We'll downshift there. Wrong gear. And I might. Come on. Oh, look how detailed that is. That lumber. I've never noticed that. I just noticed that pulling up there. It was very detailed. There we go. Bring us through here. Not bad, coming into a 40 mile per hour zone with about 150 miles left. We should be able to, since it's only 5 o'clock, we should be able to deliver this today. Without a problem. And I think it's right after this gas station we gotta make a right. Oh, that, dude, he cut that really close. That AI. Is that bomb well, here? Made it. There we go. Bring us through here, nice and steady. Seems good right there. And yeah, we'll get some speed rocking here. Should be able to be keep right there, nice 70. Not too bad. Bring ourselves through here. Hope you guys are all having a miles off the road to get water. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful, fantastic day. Hope the start of your New Year has been going pretty get well. Seems pretty good there. Still behind the nice lumber truck. I'm not too sure what other games I want to start streaming. Let me know down in the chat what you guys would like to see. I was thinking about doing um, LSPDFR. I'm going to continue with The Hunt uh, with Mogi and Seamworks. Um, as well as hopefully in the future start pushing to more um, San Andreas Farming Justice Roleplay community. Um, farming simulators, that's usually those are small videos, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to make an actual live stream out of them. But I have X Plans 11, I can probably do. I'll probably get do, start doing that once I get a uh, an actual throttle control and whatnot for it. Just starting to get into some dark clouds, looks like we're gonna get some rain. There we go. Nice and steady.
but I was looking at a few different games. I know when Red Dead comes out, I'll start doing Red Dead. On the Crew 2, that's another game I'm looking at getting uh, within the next year. Um, there's quite a bit of games. Ark Survival, that might be one I might think about getting. Um, there's just a lot of games out there. Maybe Rocket League. But those will be. Still gotta plan those out, gotta find them. Find what the viewers wanna watch. Some guy skydiving, it looks like. Two of them. Oh, wow. Sun is killing me. Go. I'm you, I've been getting behind a lot of these AI that just don't know how to drive anymore. <sighs> Come on, people. It looks like we got a left turn up here. It actually looks like a highway entrance. That'll be nice. Because then I can actually pass. Yep, it's a highway entrance. Beautiful. Left hand turn, here we go. Beautiful. Oh, don't sit on the end of the highway. No. I'm telling you, I told you, people just don't know how to drive. Not to mention how people don't know how to move over. I'll probably see this guy goes. Nope, okay, I'm gonna go after this bus because apparently this guy doesn't want to. Actually, after this guy. Actually, there should be plenty of room, so maybe he'll go. Nope, oh well. I don't have time to sit around here for people. Four people will cost me money. And what we got going on up here? Road work ahead. Just shift lane over. Yep. I think that guy just shift right into there. End of road work, nice. And oh, we're at our right, steady. Oh wow, that was quick. So it shouldn't take too long to drop this off. Oh. 
Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. And it gets you past that. There we go. So we don't have too far to go to drop this off. Go. Not too far out. Looks like it's gonna be right up on the right. And I got a very really bad feeling it's gonna be a bad park parking time today. I for I forget. I don't know if it gives me a standard parking spot because of the if it's an oversized or not. But who knows. Right hand turn. There we go. Here we go, dropping off the Butemen. There we go. I mean, I got a feeling this is going to be a very bad park in time, so let's see where they want it parked in at. They probably weren't expecting me till later on. Okay, there's. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right now, there's absolutely no way I'm going to get in there, because that's going to require me to attempt. I think it's even blocked. This area is blocked by that backhoe. So that's going to be a big pain in the ass. I'm going to have to actually back it physically back in and I think we're just gonna do it with this one just cuz there's just yeah there's there gonna be absolutely no way we we're gonna physically be able to get that in there without nearly wanting to you know throw our controller to this system here so watch that corner hopefully we can get it in there I honestly, I honestly can't see anymore, so we're gonna step outside. Because I got a feeling, oh, we're not gonna clear that. That is probably a good thing we stepped out because I gotta back this out of here. And we should straighten this up. We're gonna have to hit it. We'll do a straight back out. We'll have to pull it in a little more to the left. And then hold it till the last minute before we turn that wheel. This is just gonna be a huge pain. I can oh my god, I really shouldn't have done this one. This isn't you. There we go. Okay, so I can There we go, nice and straight. I mean at least the best we can. And we're that seems good there. We can okay, so let's try doing that. We'll cut it this way a little bit. And we'll see how far back we can take it before we hit the street. I'm gonna do a hard turn like this. It might seem crazy, but it'll actually help give me a little bit better leverage. And getting to that far all oh, this entire this entire trailer to that far corner because I literally have to hit this like dead on otherwise we gotta back it out again I want to ride that thing and we're gonna cut this right at the very last minute to clear all of that and we should be able to take it this time around. Yep. We're just going to get over here, hopefully. Pull it in there nice and straight. Knowing my luck, I'm on it. Oh, perfect. Oh my god, that was absolutely per I, I couldn't have done that better myself. Oh my god. 
to step outside the truck and take a look at that. Oh, come on. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Apparently I damaged it, so probably that time we clipped that guy. And we barely made any money, so... Pretty much made enough to pay for fuel, that's about it. I didn't expect that to be that much damage, oh my god. But, I mean, god, that was just a real big pain trying to get it around there. And... I can't get out of here. And this is gonna this is gonna be even but fun trying to get out of here. I don't even know probably the best bet might be maybe bring it this way. Wiggling it out a little bit at a time. Just using, I'm just doing second or er, third person here, real quick, trying to get out of here because I could not do that in first person. Alright, I should be able to do it from here now. Get ourselves on the road. Here we go. Do one last back up a little bit. There we go. And I think we'll pull off right up to the gas station up here real quick. Apparently now we did a nice long run, didn't even get paid for it pretty much. And it looks like we used about a half a tank of fuel, which isn't terribly bad here. Let's actually pull right here. So I believe they actually have a little bit tiny parking in the back here, I think, on the side, if I remember correctly. But who knows, I haven't done, driven in this area in a long time, or haven't driven in a gas station like this in a long time. Yeah, I guess not. That won't be bad. We'll just park it right up here. Just like that. That seems pretty good right there. Shut down the truck. We'll step out real quick. It came out just nicely here. Nice and beautiful, just as always. Ladies and gentlemen, you were an absolute audience to have with me here today. I want to thank you guys so very much for joining me on this wonderful live stream. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, follow to get an update next time I go live. Subscribe next time I release a video. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day. Stay fantastic. And as always, I'll see you next video.